Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading for the end of July going into August or whenever you happen to come across this love message. First, I do want to stop and say I apologize on the stories. It said that Taurus was uploaded, but it was supposed to be Capricorn, so there was a mistake there, and I believe that mistake happened for a reason. Technical difficulty on my part, I apologize, guys. I really do, but I feel as though that's a message in itself, and I'll definitely get to that before we start. But as some of you guys may know, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every Taurus out there every single time. It's just not possible. However, we do try to get the most messages as we can. So this love reading can apply to, you know, if you're in a relationship, if you're crushing on someone, if you have an ex, um, it can involve friends, family members, absolutely anything. So however it fits and it resonates for you guys. Do feel free to check your moon, rising, Venus signs, north node. Sometimes those signs and those placements may resonate better in love in certain cir circumstances. It just all depends. Some people like to watch all of their signs and put it all together. It's totally up to you guys. So let's get started here. So um, the message that came through when I accidentally posted the, the picture for Taurus instead of Capricorn was, if you want something done, do it yourself. So that could be like energy you're feeling right now like okay like if in your love life with a friend with a family member with a lover like if you want something done you're gonna have to do it yourself or like you feel a determination to get something done no matter what that is okay or somebody may feel that way towards you okay so i just wanted to bring up that message that message came through strongly also something about like burning of lips be careful of like burning your lips okay that came through so overall message is already pulled for you guys so there is something here that you're wanting you may be wanting to try to figure something out okay so this could apply to you or whomever you're dealing with in love okay so i'm gonna say someone so someone here is definitely trying to get more information on something here or t or find something out and this card is really asking this person to kind of take a breather take a step back and allow you know the universe or spirit or whatever you believe in to kind of take over here so there could be something that you're really trying to get to i'm hearing get to the bottom of okay or somebody's trying to do this to you like your intuition okay your intuition may be trying to tell you something here about some type of deceit or betrayal okay so you may be trying to find out some information intuitively about some type of deceit or betrayal here there are legal stuff here as well okay so some of you could be like summoned to court that is not going to be for everybody okay but most of you or whomever you're dealing with somebody's trying to find out more information intuitively about some type of betrayal or deceit here okay definitely letting your intuition guide you but this is also your emotions okay so making sure you know you're in tune with your emotions making sure what it is you're trying to figure out and what it is you're you're gaining knowledge in or trying to gain knowledge in within your love life or within your relationship making sure that's correct but spirit kind of just wants you to take a break take a breather take a rest and the answers will come to you because you guys have got the moon here okay so information will come to you intuitive messages will come to you regarding this deceit regarding this betrayal okay however it may fit for you guys so let's jump in and see what's up for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus Spirit for the end of July going into August or whenever they happen to see this message all right guys so let's see what's up definitely keep in mind general reading okay overall energy Taurus this is a lot okay so there may be a lot of stress a lot of worry a lot of anxiety a lot of restless nights for you or whomever you're dealing with here i'm hearing gemini libra aquarius energy aries leo sagittarius okay someone's really frustrated okay so this energy here it's coming out as feminine but it could be male 
okay but someone is not believing in themselves when it comes to love um somebody's very fearful somebody could feel as though somebody's cheating on them or somebody's deceiving them or somebody's betraying them here there's a lot of fear okay a lot of fear a lot of worry here so let's see so we ooh, we've got the four of wands all right let's put this right here Wow, strength. A lot of fiery energy coming up for you guys. Interesting. Okay, so you're viewing your partner or love interest, Taurus. You could be married to this person or living with this person, but you could be viewing this person as very stable, very together. You could have a home with this person or just share family with this person, but it's like you want things to be stable and secure and happy with this person, especially having a happy home with this person here okay or you yourselves are maintaining this happy home this happy home this stable home environment here for yourself but i feel as though you may want this with your partner or love interest here like marriage living in together security stability family connection so your love interest is viewing you as the strength card taurus so they definitely, I feel as though they feel very, very highly of you. They're looking at you like you can keep it all together. That They're looking at you like you have control over the situation. Not necessarily control over the love life or the relationship. That could be for some of you. But they're looking at you like you're able to keep calm. You're able to maintain yourself through any types of chaos okay like you're able to keep it together here you're able to keep it peace peaceful you're able to get through anything this is how this person is looking at you wow i'm hearing also from spirit this person may be looking at you like you're holding a grudge against them okay that's not going to be for everybody A lot of Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, like I said. Ooh, okay, so what's bringing you guys together is the judgment reversed. And this card is very, very interesting in this deck. I do want to clarify this before we kind of move forward. Okay. I feel as though the energy that may be bringing you guys together is you both may not be seeing clearly you both may not be seeing your relationship or your love life clearly or you may not be able to see a situation around you clearly at present it's like somebody's definitely not seeing exactly what's what's going on or what's happening it's like you both aren't seeing clearly regarding each other there's also some type of like, sec I'm not giving you a second chance. I'm not doing this again type of energy that's bringing you guys together. And could be creating this, this anger, this fear, this worry. This stress. Okay. Let's see. So best advice. Yeah. Best advice from spirit is the eight of swords reversed so the best advice when it comes to our relationship with this person or the best advice in love is one of you or both of you are not going to feel helpless and hopeless anymore you're not going to feel trapped anymore or this person isn't going to feel this way anymore somebody is going to get out of this position of feeling stuck feeling trapped and move forward this is the best advice is to see clearly someone is not seeing a situation clearly especially with the moon here and that's why spirit is saying stop stop there's something more there's more information needed when it comes to this deceit or this betrayal here interesting okay so let's see the outcome y'all wow ten of swords reversed let me show it to you in the upright ten of swords reversed i feel like you guys are going to be healing okay whether you're healing alone in love or you're healing your relationship together 
However, I am hearing self-sabotage, so be careful with that. Okay, because we do have the Nine of Swords. So if someone stays in this in this energy of, of fear, this lower vibrational energy of fear, of anger, of jealousy, of worry, of not feeling good enough, of not being able to sleep at night, full of anxiety here. If somebody stays in this energy, that's going to be, you know, self-sabotaging here, whether that's you or them. So let's clarify y'all and see what's good for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit, for the end of July, going into August, or whenever they happen to come across this message. Why is the Four of Wands here, Spirit? Okay, the Magician, Reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. I definitely feel like there's some... Um, there's some miscommunication here. Miscommunication regarding the home environment, the living environment, miscommunication when it comes to a marriage here as well. You could feel as though this person is not speaking up to you and telling you the truth about a home environment or a marriage here. Or a property even is what I'm getting. You could feel as though this person is being manipulative you could feel as though this person is not taking action towards stability, security. Okay, especially financially. Like they're not taking a risk financially or work-wise. There's definitely some miscommunication there when it comes to, hey, let's have a stable home environment. Let's have security, stability together. Or, hey, let's get married. You may feel as though this person is definitely not taking any action or this person is being manipulative about a home or work or money interesting okay spirit saying for some of you you could feel as though this person's like manipulating you regarding a marriage as well okay or home environment security stability however it may be here there's something here about a wife or mother figure too Okay, that you may feel like this person isn't telling the truth about, or you're not telling the truth about. Either way, it could go vice versa. So, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy. Let's see. Why is the strength card here? Wow, the world and the eight of wands. Wow, Taurus, I feel like this person... As is viewing you as very mysterious here. It's like they don't have all of the information they want to have about you. They could feel as though you're being secretive as well, but they feel as though like you're very lucky, especially when it comes to money, when it comes to finances. You're able to keep your cool. You're able to keep your calm here. You're able to travel. You're able to do what it is you want here. Spirit saying there may be some secrets about travel. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody. Somebody doesn't want someone to travel. This person very well could be feeling conflicted and defeated here, Taurus. Okay. Hmm. There's definitely something here about travel. I feel like this person doesn't want you to travel or you don't want them to travel here. I also feel like this person views you as able to accomplish anything. And for some of you, this person may definitely be holding a grudge, trying to keep it together. They could be trying to learn a lesson here. They could be holding a grudge against you, feeling as though things are done and over with you, not communicating with you, not opening up about things with you, definitely keeping secrets, or they could feel as though you're keeping secrets here. Spirit saying there's a lesson here that this person has to learn, or they feel as though you need to learn a lesson either way. 
okay i do want to check this again for you guys the world is like big time energy here especially with the strength card let's see why is the strength card here for how this person feels about taurus and love eight of swords reversed here king of swords reversed ouch okay I have to keep it real. I do see jail here for some, somebody getting out of jail or somebody trying to get someone out of out of jail. That's not going to be for everybody. Okay, especially with the summon card here. But this person something no longer has a hold on this person, okay? At one point I feel like this person was feeling helpless or hopeless. Okay? In their head, overthinking, worrying here. But now they're finding the strength and the determination here. But they're feeling left out. They're feeling left out here. However, for some of you, I feel like this person wants you to stop holding a grudge and stop overthinking things. So let's see, y'all. Why is the judgment card reversed here for the energy that these two people in love bring together? Four of Cups reversed. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands reversed. So there definitely is... Uh, there's most definitely something here with travel, luck, money, learning karmic lessons together, accomplishing cycles together, okay? Blocked communication as well, or things slowing down between you guys, maybe what's bringing you guys together. But it's like an energy of not wanting to see the truth okay not wanting to, to see the truth of maybe what you've done wrong okay not wanting to see the truth of maybe what you've done wrong or played a part in regarding this relationship or this person is not wanting to see you know their wrongdoings and and what they may have done wrong here and it's like spirit saying this needs to be brought up past issues or past problems need to be brought up here so there can be healing but what's also bringing you guys together as well may be a little bit of of depression here unhappiness just not seeing things clearly for some of you, this is a person that you're not giving a second chance to, or they're not giving a second chance to you. Why is the Eight of Swords here reversed for the best advice between these two people in love? Wow, the Queen of Cups, you guys. Four of Coins. Five of coins, five of cups. Wow, a lot of fives. The best advice here is to go through these challenges and these changes together with this person to get through the ups and downs, to get through the obstacles and the challenges together. That's the best advice. The best advice is to, you know, not make each other feel helpless and hopeless and stuck and trapped, you know, and overthink. The best advice is you know to be loving to be caring to be nurturing to be kind and loving to each other here spirit saying the best advice too is to realize that that someone loves them okay or somebody needs to realize the truth about a cancer pisces scorpio and again the best advice here is to Someone needs to stop overthinking and trust their intuition and trust their motherly instinct and their gut instinct, whether male or female here. Here it is. Spirit saying, pause and listen to your intuition here regarding this deceit or betrayal. So this could involve a financial situation as well. Okay, someone having power over someone financially uh, could be causing some type of depression or somebody's trying to recover from some type of financial situation here okay that's not going to be for everybody 
But let's see why the Ten of Swords reversed is what's going to happen between you and this person. Let's see, why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Nine of Swords. There, You guys, I can't make this up. Eight of Cups reversed. So like I mentioned in the beginning, if somebody stays in the energy of fear and not feeling good enough and stay in the energy of resentment, anger, jealousy, it they're going to keep self-sabotaging here. Someone is terrified of healing. Someone's absolutely terrified to heal and to recover here. Someone's also terrified of, of leaving someone or being left. Especially emotionally. So when it comes to what's going to happen between you and this person, Taurus, there is healing here. But there's going to be a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of restless nights here. Or between both of you, it's going to be very stressful for someone to heal, to recover here. And to believe in themselves here again. Let's see what else. What else is going to happen between these two people in love spirit for the end of July going into August? The chariot. So there is determination here, motivation, yes. There is victory and success here no matter what. When it comes to forward movement, when it comes to traveling, when it comes to being successful and overcoming these issues and these problems and these challenges here. And there it is, you guys. just like the overall energy spirit is saying stop and wait and listen to your intuition or whomever you're dealing with needs to stop and wait and listen to their intuition here someone will have the truth and clarity that they need from their intuition or from i'm getting even getting from like a psychic here or someone that's very spiritual someone's going to get the truth and clarity that they need to move forward I also feel like someone's going to be determined to push forward, to push through this anxiety, this worry, this fear. Someone's going to be ter determined and motivated to overcome this fear and this worry and this anxiety and heal. Or you both are going to be doing this together. Spirit's also coming through and saying, Taurus, that there may be someone here. Okay, this is not going to be for everybody. But there may be someone here that is causing someone all this stress and this fear and this worry. Okay, whether it's an outside source, whether it is negative energy, uh, whether it's another person, family member, friend affecting your relationship here. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody. So let's jump in with the Tarot of Sexual Magic, y'all, and get more information on your love interest or your partner and we'll also see what's coming in for love i can't speak either taurus i'm getting tongue-tied so i feel like someone's not speaking up and saying something okay or there is some type of of deceit here but spirit saying pause okay the information is definitely coming to you or vice versa i also feel like someone needs to stop overthinking and just offer love offer love here Okay, however it resonates for you guys. So let's see. What's coming in for love for Taurus? Spirit. Ooh, the Emperor. Okay, so this is a very stable energy. This could be a father figure. This could be the father of your children. Okay, or this could be someone that, you know, is in their divine masculine energy, man. Okay, tell me about this Emperor for Taurus. Mm. wow they're obsessed this person is obsessed with you Taurus you're their dream come true wish come true they're obsessed with getting their way or getting what they want from you or they're dreaming of you 
obsessing over you here, especially sexually. Yeah, they definitely want a second chance with you or they want to have some passionate energy here with you here. Let's see what's coming in for love for Taurus for the end of July going into August. Look at this. This is beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning, Taurus, especially financially, especially with growth. This is someone you can grow with. This is someone you can build with here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for Taurus and love. Ooh. Okay. I feel like someone's not speaking the truth about a financial situation here. Someone's very frustrated about a financial situation or confused about a financial situation here. Or somebody's very frustrated, very defensive when it comes to this new beginning with this person, whether that's you or them, Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, someone's definitely feeling betrayed here. It's like someone's very disappointed and upset and feeling betrayed and resentful and fighting over a financial situation here. Yeah, someone may want revenge financially as well. Yeah, I'll be careful with that one here. Alright, let's see. What's coming in for love for Taurus? Ooh, two of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's definitely weighing their options. Or whoever's coming in, Taurus, they're definitely weighing their options. I feel like they really, really have something they want to tell you. And it could be financially. Like, they really want to tell you something about finances here. Yeah, they're super frustrated super frustrated or aggravated they're unable to express their emotions here they're holding back they really got something they want to say tell me more what's coming in for love for taurus for the end of july going into august you see that truth and clarity baby a new beginning i'm hearing a breakthrough yep truth and clarity is coming most definitely Ooh. okay Someone's definitely being manipulative, Taurus, okay? Someone is holding back, almost like giving like a silent treatment here. Holding back, not saying anything, keeping to themselves, being very manipulative, not communicating clearly. So you guys are going to have your backs turned towards one another, you know, feeling like you've been lied to, you've been, you know, cheated on or stole from here. Not communicating here at all. Someone's also going to be pulling away from someone and isolating themselves from someone because someone is a manipulator. But the truth is coming in. Clarity is here. So there's an opportunity to, you know, communicate, to tell each other the truth, to get the truth. But again, that's up to you guys. What does Taurus need to know about their partner or love interest? Ooh. Ooh, okay. They're definitely not feeling the love here, okay? There could be a lot of fighting or arguing with your person, okay? This is what you need to know about your person. This person's definitely confused. They're confused and they're fantasizing here. They're wanting a second chance with you. What you need to know too, Taurus, is like this person is willing to like win at any cost. So just be cautious with this energy right here. Someone may be triggered here as well. Tell me more. What does Taurus need to know about their love interest for the end of July going into August? Eight of Cups reversed. They're, they're holding on, okay? They're definitely holding on to you emotionally. And it's it's burdening them. There's some type of burden they're holding on to emotionally. And it could be regarding money or finances here. There's definitely a lack of communication, Taurus. But the answers are soon coming. Most definitely. I'm also getting moon magic with this as well. Not for everybody. 
I just heard somebody's fearful that someone is going to take advantage of them. Okay, however that may resonate. Alright, let's see. What would Taurus's love interest or partner say to them, Spirit, for the end of July going into August? Just looking for a good time. What would Taurus's love interest say to them, Spirit? We've got short attention span. So they could feel like you're not paying attention or you have a short attention span here. Or they do. What would Taurus's love interest say to them? Feelings are mutual. Mm. What would Taurus's love interest say to them, Spirit, for the end of July going into August? Reset button. Okay, so they want to hit this reset button. They want to do over here. Mm. They're also saying, can we spend some time? They're also saying, can you handle me? Keep in mind, these could be vice versa. I'm happy being single. Definitely take what resonates for your story. What would Taurus's love interest say to them, Spirit, for the end of July going into August? Ooh, not being honest. So they're either not being honest with you, Taurus, or they feel as though you're not being honest with them, but truth and clarity is coming. Someone is going to know the truth. Ooh, on the bottom we've got their cheating. Pissed off. Okay. I do feel like this may be cheating for some. Like lies, deception, cheating, stealing. Because we did have the, the Seven of Swords coming out. But I feel more so like this is your person telling you they're angry, they're mad. Because someone cheated them. Or someone did them wrong here. Or some they could be mad because you cheated or you're mad because they cheated, okay? Either way. But I feel like there's more there's more to this. We've also got I just need to be alone right now. And we've got this is a toxic connection. And we've got stop with the questions. Yeah, there's a self sabotage. Okay, so be very careful with that, Taurus, whether that's you or them. We've also got things have been rough lately. What's going to happen between Taurus and their love interest spirit for the end of July going into August? Inner strength. Yes. Someone is definitely going to be finding their inner strength here. Tell me more. What's going to happen between Taurus and their partner or love interest? Eternal love. Wow. Someone loves someone like and somebody's going to love someone no matter what. Tell me more. What's going to happen between Taurus and their partner or love interest? Heartbreak. Ooh, tell me about this heartbreak. Vivid dreams. So someone's having dreams here about some type of heartbreak or somebody's stressed out over this heartbreak or pain. Yeah, so we've got someone's very dazed and confused about a union here with someone, whether that's you or them. What's going to happen between Taurus and their partner or love interest? Temptation. Okay, so there will be some temptation here. Let's see. Spiritual awakening in spring. Somebody else got this. I can't remember who. But I feel like someone may end up going through a spiritual awakening in springtime or they've already gone through one. I feel like it's coming though for someone. Ooh, we've also got separation. Tell me about this temptation for Taurus. Epiphany. So somebody, yeah, somebody's going to get the truth about this temptation. Somebody's going to get the truth about what it is they want to know here, what they need to know. Yeah, somebody's at, uh, is at a crossroads here. Somebody's confused. Somebody's not really sure what to do. Someone needs to speak up or somebody's going to speak up and say, you know what, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do here. I'm at a crossroads. Tell me more. What's going to happen between Taurus and their love interest for the end of July going into August? Again, y'all, I can't make this up. Self-sabotage. Someone is literally self-sabotaging. Somebody needs to break this cycle. 
Yeah, fear and anxiety, there it is. Yeah, I can't make this up. I feel like this person, for some of you, this person feels as though you can help them break this cycle. Or you feel as though this person can help you break this cycle. Someone needs to believe in themselves, but also this fear and anxiety and this darkness that one of you is going through, it's the dark night of the soul. It's a spiritual awakening here someone's healing and that may take until springtime let's get one more y'all what's going to happen between Taurus and their partner or love interest we've also got winter okay yeah winter karmic partner we've also got autumn and third party interference so winter autumn spring there's something here about a karmic partner as well and a third party interference remember like I said with like uh, someone trying to cheat them or s someone trying to hurt someone like externally to the relationship or within the relationship however it may resonate for you guys so let's see all right so we have got here if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart and not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul Best advice for Taurus in love spirit? My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Yeah, we've also got only time will tell. There it is. Spirit's definitely saying, wait, the answers will come. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Absolutely. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Best advice for Taurus. Wow. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. And we've got beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection and on the bottom you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed and that's what i've got for you taurus i hope that this helps you and guides you throughout your love life for the end of july going into august or whenever you happen to come across this message definitely like share subscribe and i will be back for more much love to you guys take care